<laughs> what's been going on for the last year is the gang war. The West End of New Iberia versus the East End of New Iberia. Iberia Sheriff Louis Acco calling it a gang war on the streets of New Iberia. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're getting a scope of the violence and hearing calls for a solution. Justice Henderson reports on the challenges to stopping that violence. It's our top story. The most recent violence had the streets of New Iberia aglow in police light. Iberia Parish Sheriff Louis Acco says this all started about a year ago. And since then, we've had nine deaths and 25 after Friday night, 25 wounded. And retaliation is the motive. How do you combat it? I'm at a loss. That brings me here to Hopkins Street, where many people tell me is a hot spot in New Iberia. People are scared to come out of their homes and even more afraid to go to officials. They are afraid because that there's no relationship here. The relationship has failed between the community and the sheriff's department. But Sheriff Alco says working together is the only solution. We're not asking them to come testify in court. It's to let us know if it's going to happen, where it's going to happen, or who was involved. That's kept secret. New Iberia Mayor Freddie DeCore says with the police department coming back after 13 years, he has plans in place to bring this violence to an end. Policies of community policing are going to be, you know, really important. I feel comfortable that the chief we're bringing in uh, has done that and will continue to do that. I can tell you that every officer will sign a statement that they believe in community policing. We're putting together those policies now and revamping our policies to fit New Iberia and to fit our current situation. So. In New Iberia, Justice Henderson, KTC TV3. KTC investigates following up on.